11 dead and 2 missing after Eastern Cape floods. Port Elizabeth The Eastern Cape government has confirmed that a total of 11 people died while two people remain missing as a result of the recent flooding in the province. Provincial government spokesperson, Sanwabom Bananga, said the office of the Premier had set up a joint operations centre to coordinate disaster relief efforts in the province, following the floods which devastated Alfred Enzo, Ortambo, and Jokabi district municipalities. He said the provincial government is also working with relevant government departments as well as affected municipalities in coordinating the costing of the post-disaster reconstruction effort. The Eastern Cape Independent Electoral Commission IEC, had also confirmed that 70 voting stations had been affected by the floods, including schools and preschools. Bananga said early assessments of the damage caused to infrastructure, which have been possible only following the receding of water levels in flooded towns and villages, have revealed collapsed bridges and damaged roads in some parts. The provincial government is currently preparing an urgent report for national government for the consideration of declaring disaster-stricken, affected regions. Among the priorities is to urgently render the 70 affected voting stations open and ready for the May 8, 2019 parliamentary and provincial elections, including the repairs to bridges and walkways with the assistance of the South African National Defence Force SAN, in this regard. Bananga said in Bizana in the Alfred Enso district, 11 bridges and 5 access roads were affected, with 3 bridges in Antabankolu also affected. 3 houses in Antabankolu in Ward 7, 10 and 15 were damaged while in Matateel 51 houses in Ward 26 were damaged, with 6 people left homeless in Cedarville. He said that 1091, people in Port St. John's including those from Green Farm who were evacuated, have since returned to their homes. In Inkoza Hill four families who were evacuated following the collapse of their homes are still being accommodated by neighbors. The Department of Home Affairs, Doha, will be deploying two mobile trucks to Alfred Enzo and Ortambo districts to help expedite the issuing of identity documents to citizens who lost their IDs and birth certificates. The Provincial Department of Health reported that two clinics were damaged, namely the newly constructed Sakila Clinic in the King Savada Dalandibo local municipality which suffered structural damage. The Flagstaff Clinic in the Inkoza Hill local municipality also suffered damage. The process of clearing the debris on the affected roads has commenced through the Extended Public Works Program EPWP, from the Provincial Department of Transport. The R61 has been cleared. Yeah.